What's up YouTube, it's Mark again, and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Today, it is the coldest day of the year. It is 35 degrees here in West Palm Beach, and it is the last day of duck season. And what am I gonna do today? I'm not going duck hunting. I really wish I was because it's probably gonna be phenomenal, but it just didn't work out today. So instead, I'm going snipe hunting. I'm going to meet up with my buddy Richard from Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. Uh, I'm actually a part of the board as well, and we uh, we spend our time uh, fighting for hunters' rights and making sure that we maintain access to public lands. So it's a great cause if you hunt public land. Uh, we'd really appreciate your support. So think about becoming a member. Anyway, and if this is your first time watching a Swamp and Stomp video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you've been here before, you already know the drill. And if you want to find a way to support the channel just a little bit more, think about becoming a Patreon member. You can click this link right here to read more about that. There's a bunch of stuff in it for you, uh, but it really helps us out. So please think about it. And uh, you can also check out our merch store. There's a link down in the description. Think about buying some stuff and representing Swamp and Stomp. And with that, let's get back to the video. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush! Money! That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby! <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. like 36 or 37 right now so uh these birds might not even want to fly so we'll have to, we'll have to see <laughs> just kick them up <laughs> and shoot <laughs> but yeah we're, we're going snipe hunting uh this morning and uh i think you'll have a lot of fun so like what do i do well uh the easy part about this is uh all we have to do is walk and we're basically going to be walking like uh prairie edges, uh, marsh edges, kind of like the areas between where the marsh meets the trees. Uh, we want to find areas with just a little bit of water. We don't want deep water uh, and we don't want dry dry. Their legs are about this big. Muddy so, stuff. Right? So just little, little puddle stuff yeah. and they're going to be in there feeding in that stuff. So we just want to try and find that stuff and walk through it. Uh, depending on the like how the wind's blowing will determine kind of how fast we walk. If it's calm, we'll walk super slow and just creep. If the wind picks up, we can walk faster and we'll just basically, uh, you know, drive through that stuff and, and just try and kick them up. They'll, they'll basically, they'll flush. They'll kind of like, once they come up, they, they, they explode. They'll, they'll make a, a sound. It's like a creak, creak, and they'll pop up and they'll do like a zigzag. At that point, don't try and shoot them when they pop up. They'll kind of like zigzag and then straighten out and just kind of like sail off and when they sail off when they straighten out that's when you want to try and hit them okay and if you do hit one keep your eye on where it falls right watch it and if it hits a blade of grass you stare at that blade of grass and you just walk straight to it without taking your eye off other birds flush while you're walking towards that bird. Do not take your eyes off that because you will never find that bird unless you do that. This is like, imagine dropping a camo glove in three feet of grass. You are never going to find it. So, okay. That's my, that's my pro tip of the day. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I was waiting for the squeaky noise. Oh, right, in the, right in the sun, I was like, ah, oh, well. Shit. Fuck. 
It's basically dry here though. We're back into squishy stuff here. And there's three more birds over here to the left that just flushed up and sat back down. Boys. Cute little things. Yeah. Looks tasty. They're pretty big. Like the, yeah. the breasts are a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. Cool. Yeah, the breasts are the same size as stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should probably oh. turn off my safety. <laughs> watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, he landed right there. Like 50 yards. He just dropped 50 yards away from him. Okay. Right this way. I'm going to let you get a shot. Yeah, I should probably turn off my safety this time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least I pulled the trigger. Man, those things are quick. Oh, there goes one. Man, this is like great practice for duck hunting. Really makes you get that gun up quick. Is this where it was? I made the fatal mistake. I didn't take my, I took my eye off it. I know it was like next to one of these little branches. It might've been this one. Yeah, lesson learned. Do not shuck a shell. You got it? Okay. Yeah, look, from where I was, I looked at this yeah. twig. Well, I looked at it, and I and then I shucked, and I was like, crap. Yeah. I got to pick up that shell, and then I was like, Lost. And, and as gone. As gone. Away, as soon as, gone. As soon as I, yeah. It's over. My first snipe. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> Nope. No. I kind of lost him in the, the brush. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, when I shot, like, I had to wait, and by the time I could shoot, he was kind of far. All right, I'm back in the squish. Oh. Yes. As soon as I got back in the squish. Yeah, 
Yeah, I see him. Number two. Damn. They flew right at me. Oh, shit. Damn. That was a bunch of birds. That really took me by surprise because, like, I was looking to the left and I look over, I hear your shot, and then I just see, like, three birds flying straight at me. Yeah. But I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything because they were between me and you. Damn. You got him. Did I? Yeah, he went down. He went down, but I don't think he went down down. He's I'm looking right where he went. Walked right past him. Damn, I just kicked up another one. Like he's he's got to be somewhere between here and that little tree. Oh, I got him. Oh, he was in a bush. He was in a bush. Sorry, buddy. I can already tell you that that private property. What the hell? Weird. No, there wasn't one in the chamber. How's that even possible? I guess I didn't have one in the tube when I thought I did. Damn, I would have smoked his ass. There's gonna be one over here. Got him. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeah. Number four. I think there's going to be a few in this across the road here. There it is. Two man limit. Hell yeah. Smoked them. It's a good little pile of snow.
All right, guys. So, uh, in case you didn't notice, my uh, my battery ran out on my other GoPro, so we weren't able to film the rest of it. But as you can see, we did all right. We shot two man limit. So, uh, thanks for taking me out, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Nice to make it out. Yeah, I can't wait to try these things. And I mentioned before, this man right here, together with me, we uh, we're part of the. BHA chapter in Florida here. And uh, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, go check out the link in the description um, and think about becoming a member. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, go check out our merch store. There's a link down in the description as well. So until next week, peace out.